here is the new washing machine um, I told you guys in the last vlog that the washer did go out so I just bought the washing machine um, I will be getting the dryer to go with it that's the GE dryer that we had from before which was newer than the washing machine but I prefer for it to be a matching set not a deal breaker but a couple months I will be getting the dryer to go with it this was basically a very good deal um, they had it on sale it was I believe $6.99 and then after I got the warranty and stuff on it, it came up to about uh, $7.80 which is good because it was on sale. Like I said, I think these go for about a grand or so. So it is a smart uh, washing machine and it is a bigger capacity than what we had before. So that is great. Uh, I was supposed to do a video to show you guys all the stuff we washing up but I just had to get it done. So I did wash up all the clothes within two days, but I just wanted to give you guys a little overview of how the uh, washer looks. I'm happy with it so far. It does have the aluminum up here and then you have like the little rubber base right there on the bottom of it. And also it has inside here a little thing here. Say if you put your softener, you need stuff to be mixed up with just something to be soaked and you don't want to put the washer on right away, you can press this button right here. Let me just... Put it on first i guess that would be a smart thing to do tasha there we go and then you would just press this button right here and it would fill it up with water so that's definitely a cool thing as well and here you have your detergent softener bleach of course it has a drum i don't remember if this drum can come out i think it does but i honestly can't remember right now and i didn't remember seeing anything in the book but i'll check again it looks like it might be able to come out i don't remember if this was the one that we were looking at that the drum can come out but regardless of what it is a nice bigger size capacity i'll have it um linked below as far as the size and all that stuff it does wash a good amount of clothes so i'm going to just start a load of clothes really quick before i start work to give you guys a little bit of laundry motivation before we get more into the video so on this day guys i actually planned on giving you an all day laundry motivation while you know coming off and working at a laundry inn unfortunately when i was working my mother-in-law actually went in and helped uh finish up washing the clothes so i can only show you guys me putting in this particular load of clothes and i did have a question a while ago asking who was a lady in the background in my video sometimes and that would be my mother-in-law my in-laws do live with us so sometimes you will see another gentlemen in the background or maybe uh her and that's who you guys are seeing just my in-laws in the background just take a look at yourself do you really think it's gonna help if you always fight in yourself trying to forget how you felt just take a look at yourself can't even be your own friend Onto this grocery haul. This was from Walmart. And you guys, these oatmeal cookies that I'm going to show you are garbage. So definitely don't buy them. They were cheap to buy, about a dollar and change. But they were so hard, I had to get rid of them. I actually kept a few to give to my dog because they were that hard and good for his teeth. So he could use them. But yeah, do not buy those. So this was just a quick overview of what I got that day for groceries. Um, you guys know we love the Twinnings tea. Drink a lot of tea in here. And just sometimes I do pick up the buy one, get ones when they have them on sale. So definitely got that in the stofers. These are some quick to go things to grab when I don't want to cook or just to give the kids lunch. Finally got the stew beef, some apple juice, some yogurt. Me and Zoe have been enjoying that. Um, the Danables, some scallions, some extra bacon to add into the fridge. And then I also did also purchase um, some home essentials, which you guys will see in a little bit which was some, you know, soap, a few hair supplies, and then also some, a nail polish remover for Zoe because she's been doing her nails. The Chloralin spray, I've been getting that because it's cheaper than the Clorox and it does the same thing. So definitely if you have, are able to get this particular product, I would get it because it is cheaper than Clorox. And you guys know I love my plugins, so I definitely had to pick up some of those.
Chicago um, the meal with a strawberry lemonade and then can I have a uh, or have two So I had stopped to get some lunch on my way home. Um, I actually went to the dentist I've been taking the kids to because my dentist, uh, I had vlogged it, but I never shared it. A while ago, I went to my dentist and they told me I had to get a crown and all these other things. And the bill was like over $2,000. And I've been going to these people for years. So I said, I'm going to go get me a second opinion. So I finally went for a cleaning to the kids' dentist. And basically, it came back and... All I have to pay is um, $900 out of pocket, which basically is gonna cover my crown. My crown, I think, was like $450, and then I have a cavity, which is $55, and then I have to get a mouth guard. Before they told me that I need to get a mouth guard, I'm like, I'm not biting my teeth. But he's like, it's either when I'm doing it while I'm sleeping, or sometimes stress, when you go through stress, sometimes you grind your teeth, and you don't realize it. So I have to get a guard for that. So um, that's $400. So in total, it came up to $900, which is way better than $2,000. So I scheduled my crown for end of next month, which I don't have to pay everything at one time. So you have to pay like 50% and go from there. So that's a good thing. Um, and then, of course, having the insurance. But if you guys never tried the Wendy uh, Blueberry Pomegranate uh, Lemonade, y'all got to try that. That thing is so bomb. I'll show it to you when I get home, but it tastes really, really good. It's kind of sweet, so if you don't like sweet drinks, then don't get it, but it's different, and it tastes really, really good. It tastes great, so I'm going to head home now. I actually have to get back to work, so I'm going to go home, give everybody their lunch and stuff like that. Um, Mason got picked up from camp today. I think he has one more day on Monday, and then that's it, and then... Um, will be getting them situated for gearing up back to school so I don't know if you guys are ready for school to start uh, our school let out here like the first week of June and we're going back like the third week of August I believe so getting everybody geared up everybody's in different schools this year Mason is going to be in the elementary school is always starting middle school Sanaya is going to be a junior woohoo upperclassman I'm like, girl, you are upperclassmen, but even when she's in the lower class, everybody knows who Sanaya is at school. So she's a popular girl, which is great. Everybody loves her. So that should be great. And they're all going to the same school except for Zoe. She's going to be going to um, a new school, but it's the middle school Sanaya used to go to. So hopefully she'll be able to blend in and fit in there. Only thing with that is that they don't wear uniforms. So I'll be buying regular clothes for her. Mason will be in uniforms. And of course, Sanaya is in regular clothes as well so we just have to get adjusted to that but everything should be fine she's into like the baggy shirts and the joggers and you know cargo pants and stuff like that so that shouldn't be too bad or too hard to do have you guys started shopping for school clothes or anything like that school books i know here in broward county they're not doing the clear book bags anymore because i was gearing up to get the kids the clear backpacks and then getting some type of other bags to go inside to conceal what they have in there for privacy matters but they're not going with the clear backpacks this year, so they're fine with that. So I just have to get them some new bags if they want to, um, to change it up a little bit. But other than that, we'll just, you know, see how things go. I have like a month and some to get things together. You guys know we got a lot going on over here. So I just try to get everything in where it fits in, you know. So enough of the car rambling. I'll see you guys a little bit later when I get home. Hey guys, excuse my, I'm just checking, I was checking out my eyebrows, they're looking crazy, but I'm trying to have them go back in thicker, but I did a pickup at Target, so I'm going to share with you guys what I got from there, and then I also did, um, I get ordered something from Amazon, a planter box for the front door, I'm going to be doing a little refresh out there, we will be, so I wanted to, um, order a planter box, and I'll share that in another video, um, I have a company that's sending me something, which I'm really happy about that. So I can't wait to share that with you guys on a little home refresh on the front. And I also got a 
rug or two rugs and then also the candle bra from Studio McGee. I've been eyeing it for a while. I actually was going to get it from McGee & Co. But it's been on back order for the longest. So I decided to get the one from, what do you call it? Target. Uh, I did see Jenna from Jenna Home. She actually purchased it as well. And she was saying it wasn't that heavy. And that Home Sense also has one as well, which is a little bit more heavier. And I think it's about $20. So just to let you guys know, you can get it from Home Sense if you don't want the one from Target. But I just wanted something really quick to put on like a book or something like that or put on the shelf. So I'm going to try that out and I'll show you guys what I got regarding the front porch and then also the little grocery haul that I did. So let me go ahead and share that with you guys right now. I also wanted to do a little bit of organization in this video. I want to do the kids' snack drawer. I want to get under the kitchen sink. And then I have some stuff in my bathroom that I want to just get organized again. So I definitely will be sharing that with you guys as well. Okay, guys. Sorry about if there's any like noise in the background or anything like that. But I got some orange juice. This is basically like a little um, restock to get me through the week. I am definitely doing Costco like the bulk shopping but I just wanted to get these few things to try to add on to what we already have to kind of get me to the end of the week when I get paid again but this is the orange juice I picked up two of these um, lemonades classic lemonades I usually get the ones from Publix but I got this from here the simply lemonade strawberry got a bag of the chicken wing sections some Caesar salad some lunch meat um, and then I also got the little bites. So now I like to eat these in the morning times. And then some more bread, wipes. I saw these and I had to get them. This is going to be my little um, pleasure, like treat pleasure right here. So I'm sure these are going to be very good. If you guys have tried these out, let me know. Of course, some Oreos, some more Nutella. Zoe goes through these like crazy. And then I also bought some, um, what do you call it, uh, construct, con contractor bags. These were like $11. I was looking at Amazon for them. Yeah, I was checking them out on Amazon and then also on Home Depot. I think the cheapest on Amazon was probably maybe $19 and the cheapest on Home Depot was $23. But I think you got like probably double the bags, but I don't need that much. I've been working in the backyard pulling up the hedges along the uh, screen. So I'll probably try to give you guys a snapshot of that if I can. I have to do just a little section that's left over there. So I want to get some contractor bags to put the rest of the shrubs in that when I go to pull those out. So just give me a little bit and I'll show you guys the rugs that I got, the um, pedestal for the front porch, which is going to basically be an unboxing with you guys. And then also the candle bra that I got from Threshold, but it's by Studio McGee. And those items that I picked up actually good thing I've been saving up my points at work we get bonus points so I basically cash out my bonus points and I purchase those things with that because I have to you know save the money for other things right now because of what's going on but I was able to get those things up there by just having some points saved in my job so definitely appreciative of that so let me show you guys really quick so I'm currently in Mason's room he said there's a lot of stuff that he wants to get rid of so I'm giving him a bag since I'm doing a organizing video he can basically get rid of stuff and declutter and organize he got a haircut today got a little mohawk done let me show it to him hold on okay turn around see the back hair up look at me really mason <laughs> his dad did it so he's looking real cute but this is how it looks he said there's a lot of stuff in here he wants to get rid of so he's going to go through here and um declutter it while he's watching his TV so once he finishes I'll show you guys everything that he decided to get rid of make sure whatever it is is something that you don't love anymore that you really want to get rid of if you're not sure put it to the side if you notice you don't play with it and you don't touch it and you don't want it that's what you put in the bag you know you're not gonna miss it I don't even touch it anymore. I just put some stuff else. I just don't want to watch stuff. I just don't want stuff. I'm like, put the money in the bag. Just make sure it's definitely stuff that you're not going to want anymore, okay? I know. Okay. Stuff. 
Hey guys, of course, it is another day. My life is like so hectic right now, but um, Mason finished his room. I came in here this morning, or not too long ago, and helped him just to clear out, make sure he cleared out what he needed to clear out. And the things that he got rid of, he really wanted to get rid of. So it's a lot um, more congested and cluttered. A lot of stuff he got rid of, he's kind of actually kind of grown out of them, and it makes room to get more or newer things when the time comes. So I'm going to just give you guys a real quick overview of what it looks like the room is already cleaned already dusted vacuumed all that stuff um also sprayed down with lysol just to uh disinfect it so let me show you guys really quick this is let me show you from here because you guys saw yes it was like really crazy so here we go i have to i'm actually gonna probably if i don't clean the carpet starting monday next week i'm definitely gonna be cleaning these carpets his carpet was the only one that was left looking the newest but now it's looking kind of crazy so i need to clean all the carpets but this is all the stuff to get rid of. Basically, two bags full. Uh, I probably will try to donate that to a school or something like that with some stuff I have in the garage. But this is stuff to get rid of. Those are things that he's keeping. Took out some more stuff out of his closet. I have to still go through his clothes again just to get rid of some smaller t-shirts and stuff that he had. But for the most part, this is all set up properly. Everything is in its bin. I still have to get another black bin for that. I don't know how long he's going to be keeping these things. That's why I wasn't rushing to get a bin. But just for aesthetics and things like that, I will get another bin for that. And as you see, everything is cleaned off. I kept these because he can use these on doing his counting and those type of things. But for the most part, everything is clean, decluttered, and how it needs to be in his room. So again, this is just an overview of how everything is looking in here and he actually had that fire truck he also donated that to his one of his little cousins so he gave that away to her so that made room for that because he actually wants to get a tank so yeah y'all um jay's actually watching goon squad in the back i just came from publix and i came from the you can play jay it's fine play it's fine and I came from the pool store, we went and picked up some chlorine because I'm about to go outside and sweep off the patio, uh, do the pool, and also get the hedges in the back, which I was telling you guys about. I'll give you a little overview of how it looks of what I was trying to accomplish, but it's really hot outside, so I'm not going to be out there too long. I'm just going to do another little haul to show you guys what I got from Publix. Uh, I don't buy things per se and a huge like consumption of things. I just buy them as I need because I don't want them to sit there and spoil. The kids are home, so they're going through, a few, few, going through a few things a lot more quicker than usual. So that's why I'm in the store and have all these different um, grocery hauls. But we still do have certain things, but then we run out of the others. So I just pick them up as needed. So I'm gonna share with you guys really quick that. And then I still need to do the, yeah, I still need to do the under the sink organization. Then I'm gonna also organize our snack draw. So I'll share that with you guys. My phone is running out of storage, so I have to clear up some storage on that. And then I'll come back with you guys and share that with you guys later on in the video. This is what I got from Publix. Old-fashioned applesauce, some macadamia cookies, the frosted cookies, some Teddy Grahams, the dynamite burritos. Got those for Sanaya. When I go back to Costco, I'll definitely get those in bulk. The Dejerma pizzas, they had buy two of them for 12 or something like that. So I got this one and then got this margarita one some blueberry waffles the toaster sticks they don't have the pancakes in bulk so i have to go get that at costco as well that right there so i picked up a hot pocket to try out some jello of course we ran out of the danables there's none in the fridge i picked up some butter pecan ice cream my guilty pleasure and then these cookies were bomb i showed you guys these um a few days ago so i bought some more and then also oatmeal raisin for jay they had them i think buy one get one on those some more brown sugar just a pack of bacon just to add into the fridge these will buy one get one pepsi products so i got some teas some milk we don't need juice but i just picked this up just to add to the cabinet as well so that is it for the quick Publix haul that i did this morning and i'm gonna get these things put up and like i said i'll come back with you guys showing you the uh, storage and then i'll give you a little overview of the outside outside guys which is extremely hot you see how the bushes here like you can see through them there and then over there you can hardly see through them i basically cut those back right there made them neat so i'm basically going in and i'm taking out like the first layer in front on the other side i'm taking that out so you can see through there so i want to actually take these out all the way but just to give a little bit of um 
privacy. I left one layer there. I'll show you on the other side when I start. But right now, I'm going to just sweep off this patio really quick, put some chlorine in, and I need to also vacuum it. But that's how it's looking right now. We have a lot of work to do out here, but everything is going to be something, one thing at a time. And we've been pulling these vines down. It's always going to go back there and try to get some more of those down off of there, which are nice, but the leaves and stuff go in the pool, so we have to get those out of there as well. Backyard, guys. I got like four piles of bushes to pick up. Basically took out all of these. It was like a whole two rows here. Getting all of those up. And these are going to come out too. I'm going to put down some nice hedges. It's terribly hot out here. That's how it looks. Just to show you guys what I've been doing. It's very hot out here. is how under here looks basically it needs to be wiped down of course and just wipe out these bends and reorganize these things in here just adding the stuff back in there neatly so not too bad but definitely just needs a nice um, wipe out yourself do you really think it's gonna help if you always fighting yourself trying to forget how you felt just take a look at yourself can't even be your own friend because you're way too stuck in your head how do you think it's gonna end nothing that they could do nothing that they could say nothing that they could do is take all the pain
promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. Know it's all So I have the extra pods back there. Here we usually keep Brillo pads. I don't have any, but everything. I need to get just a few more to put in here. Have the um, Swiffers here, and then of course cleaners on here. Lazy Susan definitely is a game changer, and I just put the garbage bags here. We just pull it from here for now. I actually had them in there, but I think it looks better here. So that's it for this cabinet. This is a snack drawer before. And I'm trying to use this right here to organize this space. I'm at on my own. Had a couple blocks in the road. But I get to the bag on the loan. I pick down the stacks while they grow. Yeah, you know me. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I come in town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby. I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time. If you lie with me, just promise you never lie to me. after so what you guys think much better I would just put their straws right here make it easier guys this is the planter that I got for the front patio um, by the front door to put my snake plant in when I go out there to do a little refresh so so far so good it's a little dusty but that's okay you guys can see how deep it is inside it has a little hole at the bottom for water drainage um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to just put the plant in there or if I have to add some sand or something to prop it up, we'll see. But that's how that looks. Um, not bad. And I got it on sale, so we'll see how I like it once I put it by the uh, front door. It should be fine. It is a concrete um, texture. They do have a, in a few other colors, but I wanted the concrete texture, like more concrete or black. So that's what we have. You'll see more of it once I do the front uh, patio. So these are the items that I got from Target. This is the dual candle 
stick that I was telling you guys about from Threshold but by Studio McGee. As I said, McGee and Co. I was waiting for the one from them, but it was on, or it is on back order. I'm on their list to get that one. Um, I actually missed out because I added it to my cart. Forgot I did that, and then it got back ordered again. So I'm waiting for that. So this is that. And then also this rug here I picked up. It's from Threshold by Studio McGee. They also have it in just the khaki color, but I wanted the green, which is not a bad size comparing it to that rug right there. This is a, what size, 25 by 38. And then we have this doormat here, Good Vibes Only, by Room Essentials Outdoor Mat. I have that one there as well. So those are the three things I got on my little gift card that I was telling you guys about for my job so can't wait to style these